Hey guys, what's happening? As you can tell, I'm near the airport here in Portland, Oregon, PDX Airport. Today is October 24th and tomorrow I'm flying back to Asia. Finally, looking forward to uh, getting back to one of the best continents in the world. So I'm flying to Tokyo, Japan, going back for my second trip. I was there last time in uh, late spring and early summer of 2018, so more than four years ago. It is going to be quite different this time because it is late October, going into November. It is going to be chilly, and so this is not necessarily going to be the uh, best representation of what exactly you might want to bring on a trip to Asia because it will depend, of course, on where you're going and what time of year. So this is more of a cold weather selection of stuff here. If you're going to Thailand or Bali or the Philippines and you might want, you know, more shorts and uh, bikinis and uh, sandals and less of the uh, warm shirts and hats. But anyways, I just wanted to uh, show you what's in my backpack. Much of the stuff is stuff that is in there regardless of where I'm going. And then you just shift the uh, clothes around, of course, depending on the various conditions of uh, where you're headed. So let's get started here first with the big backpack. People have asked about it. What kind is it? It is called a Field Line Tactical Delta 65. I don't know if this thing is an easy backpack to find. I got it at Big Five Sporting Goods. I think that it was the only one there when I uh, was looking for backpacks a couple of years ago. And so I basically have things separated here in which this side has all of the stuff that goes into the big backpack and then this side has all of the stuff that goes into the smaller day pack which I use as a carry-on. The important thing to keep in mind is that this smaller backpack has all of the most important crucial stuff in it that you really don't want to lose. And then all the clothes and everything goes in there and if you lose that one that sucks but at least you still got your passport and wallet and cell phone and computer and all that in here. So. This has all been emptied, so this is an empty day pack there, and then this is all the stuff that goes in it. A rain jacket. So this is a absolutely essential one that should just always be in there. It is always at the bottom of my backpack, ready to grab in case of rain, cold, sandstorms. Not that that has actually happened, but uh, you never know, just for uh, obvious purposes. And then here we have uh, sunglasses, the cell phone, a journal and, you know, do list and various information in here. That is my money pouch with passport, credit cards, my uh, vaccination card, which I will need for Japan. I will talk more about entry requirements for Japan in another video. And then sleeping eye mask, earplugs, money pouch, wallet, clock there, face mask, this has all my cameras in it and camera related stuff. And then this is a little bag that goes inside there. It has things that can't go on a plane. And so when I fly, then it will go into the big backpack. So we have here fork, spoon, scissors, fingernail cutters, and then a whistle, just a random emergency thing that might as well throw in there because it's very uh, small and light. And then this stuff I actually use fairly regularly. It is uh, for after you get bitten by mosquitoes or some other bug and then you smear it on there and it makes the uh, pain go away. And then a knife, Leatherman with various other attachments, computer, computer cord, various cables there. So that is everything going in the small backpack. Here we have comfy pants, another pair of jeans. And of course, everything I'm wearing goes with Socks, jeans, long sleeve shirt, and then shoes right there. And then I'm bringing the flip flops, not because I'm expecting to be walking around Japan as it's cooling down wearing the flip flops, but it is just a good thing to have, especially like if you stay at a hostel and you don't want to have to put your shoes on all the time going back and forth to the uh, restrooms or who knows what, maybe it's an especially warm day and you end up uh, wearing them um, outside. And then super warm socks for wearing indoors, kind of like muckalucks, too thick to wear with a pair of shoes, but great for indoors when it's chilly. Here we have an assortment of long sleeve shirts, three more long sleeve shirts there, my toiletries bag, the usual stuff, a laundry bag there, everything is nice and clean now, so starting off uh, fresh, my blanket, warm hat, sun hat, 
book, 12 pairs of underwear, socks, t-shirts, and a couple of little bit nicer button-up shirts, a pair of shorts here that I'm unlikely to use, but you never know, a sarong type thing that uh, doubles as a towel, a bag here with assorted random things in it, the most important being two different socket adapters. So this is the European Indian one. I'm not exactly sure what it will be in Japan. I think probably this one. And then this has all of them for basically most countries that you might go to, including this one. But it is good to have a double just in case you lose one. And also this is the most commonly used one and it fits into uh, different types of sockets. It's slightly different, a little bit thicker. Sometimes you'll be somewhere that uses the two prongs, but these are too thick. And then this one has the thinner one. So it is just kind of a uh, thing to double up there and make sure you have your uh, bases covered. And then a little lock there, a uh, neck warmer thing, a shawl, also a neck warmer, warm gloves. And so this is like in case it does get fairly chilly. Swim trunks, which won't be used for going to the beach, not planning on any uh, beach action, but for like hot tubs or whatever. And then a uh, warm jacket. So this is different from the rain jacket there. That is a much thinner jacket. And then this will double as a rain jacket. It has a hood also that is in the uh, day pack there, but it is significantly warmer there. And that will be great for snowy conditions, you know, generally colder weather a cup here for general use, and then a water bottle. And I highly recommend this kind, the insulated kind, because I only put water in it, but if it is hot out and uh, you're going to the beach, then you put in cold water, nice cold water from the fridge. And then hours later on the beach, you still have cold water. It doesn't heat up like uh, a non-insulated water bottle. So that basically covers it. That is all of the stuff here. I'm going to uh, edit this video now and get it uploaded probably tomorrow and then I will be on a plane flying from Portland to Los Angeles, a two hour layover there and then from LAX, a direct flight all the way across the Pacific to Tokyo. So stoked for going back to Asia, exploring Japan once again, one of the uh, most interesting uh, countries in the world for sure. They have just opened up like a week ago and so I'm curious to see what it's going to be like as far as masks and uh, how you know strict things are going to be but from what i understand it should be uh, pretty mellow masks not required other than maybe on buses or maybe in stores or whatever but i hope not walking around outside we shall see and so that's it for this video uh, tomorrow i will plan to document the journey going from portland to tokyo japan so uh, another adventure begins see ya